it's been difficult for us, everyone here at the school, losing one of the children that way. I'm sure you'll excuse us for going over and over things. I think everyone's still in shock. It's terribly sad. I've just come from seeing Mrs. Daigle. She's devastated, as you can imagine. Of course. Strangely, I've seen her several times now, and each time she's asked me to find out from you if you had any possible idea where Claude's penmanship medal might be. Penmanship medal? I, I haven't heard about that. Yes. It wasn't found with the body. It's completely disappeared. Good afternoon, Rhoda. Mother, could I sit outside under the tree for a while and read my book? Of course, Rhoda. It's shady there. And you can watch me from the window. I like to be where you can see me. I'll be here. Thank you, Mother. Goodbye, Miss Fern. Mrs. Penmark, I asked you to come by today because I've wondered if perhaps Rhoda might have told you Anything more than what she told me. You see, she was the last one to see the little Daigle boy alive. Are you sure? Yes. I hadn't realized. But the older girl saw Rhoda and the Daigle boy at the far end of the pier. He was upset and crying, and Rhoda was blocking his path. She said Rhoda shoved him and grabbed at his medal. Has it occurred to you that the older girl might be lying? Not likely. She's 15 now and been with us since kindergarten. We know her well. And this was the last time Claude was seen? Yes. Of course, so many things could have happened quite innocently. Maybe he was hiding in the old boathouse and slipped into the water. And perhaps Rhoda thought when he slipped in he'd ruin his new shoes and she'd get in trouble for it. And when it was too late to do anything, she was afraid to admit what happened. So you think she does know something she hasn't told? Yes. She's probably too scared to tell. Are you implying that there's some kind of connection between Rhoda and Claude's death? Of course not. Well, it certainly seems that way. And if there were doubts about Rhoda from what has happened, I don't think she would be happy in your school next year. No. She would not. And since she would not, perhaps we should make up our minds now that she will not be here. Then there are doubts. And you've already decided it. We have to be going. Mrs. Penmark, we're simply trying to get the whole story. If you could just talk to Rhoda. Maybe she's forgotten something else she could tell you. In many ways, Rhoda is the most satisfactory student the school has ever had. She's never absent, never late. As you know, she has a certain maturity that's disturbing in a child. Surely she can remember something else. I'll speak with her about it. Are we leaving, Mother? Rhoda? Did you go on the wharf at any time during the picnic? At any time? Yes, Mother. I went there once. Why did you go on the wharf? You knew it was forbidden. Why did you do it? One of the big boys said there are little oysters that grew on the pilings. I want to see if they did. Please. Please, Rhoda. I know you're a clever liar. But I need to know the truth. But it's all true, Mother. Every word. One of the monitors said that they saw you try to snatch the medal off of Claude's shirt. Is that true? Every word? Oh. That big girl was Mary Beth Musgrove. She told everybody she saw me. See, Claude and I are playing a game, 
and he said if I could catch him in 10 minutes and touch the medal with my hand, I could wear it for an hour. But how can Mary Beth say that I took the medal? I didn't. Very well. Thank you, Rhoda. I'll be right back. Where did you find it? What was the penmanship medal doing in your backpack? Tell me the truth, Rhoda. When we move in our new house, can we plant a tree just like the one that said, Mother? Can we, Mother? It's so shady and pretty. And I love sitting under it. Answer my question. How did Claude Daigle's medal end up in your backpack? It certainly didn't get there by itself. I'm waiting for your answer. I don't know how it got there, Mother. How could I? You know. You know quite well how it got there. How did you get the medal? Claude gave it to me. Why? We were running, and he stopped. And he said I could wear the medal all day if I gave him 50 cents. Is that the truth? Yes, Mother. I gave him 50 cents, and he let me wear the medal. You knew how much Mrs. Deggle wanted that medal. Why didn't you give it to her? It's stupid to bear it with Claude. He's dead. He won't know if he has it or not. Mother, you're the sweetest. Now tell everybody I've got the sweetest mother in the whole world. Rhoda, did you have anything to do? Anything at all, no matter how little it was? With Claude getting drowned? Well, why would you ask that, Mother? Come here, Rhoda. Look me in the eyes and tell me. I need to know the truth. No, Mother. I didn't. <laughs>